Blood glucose monitoring is a skill station newly added to the NMC OSCE. This might be one of the four skill stations you might be asked to perform on the day of the examination. This skill station is explained in detail below. You will perform this station on a mannequin and the examiner will give a voiceover to answer the candidate's questions. The allowed time for the station is 8 minutes. The skill station can be classified into three phases which are the introduction phase, procedural phase and post-procedural phase. Let's see each phase one by one. Introduction phase. In the introduction phase, you will need to perform all of the following. 1. Checking for scene safety. 2. Hand hygiene by following 7 steps as recommended by WHO. You can use alcohol hand rub. 3. Introducing yourself to the patient by saying your name and adding that you are going to look after them today. 4. Confirm the patient's identity. Ask for their name and date of birth and hospital number, but you can also confirm this by checking against their wristband. 5. Explain the procedure to the patient and gain consent. 6. It is also advisable to know about the patient's allergy in the introduction phase. 7. Ensure privacy and dignity throughout the procedure. Procedural phase. Firstly, you will start assembling the equipment after checking the expiry dates and ensuring the equipment packs are intact. Clean your hand with hand rub or you can also use soap and water to maintain hand hygiene. Dry your hands with a paper towel. The paper towel is to be discarded in the general waste bin. Perform hand hygiene during all five moments of hand hygiene following all steps recommended by WHO. Try to verbalize the steps of hand hygiene once during the procedure and demonstrate them appropriately. Wear a disposable apron and put on the clean gloves. With a single lancet, prick the side of the finger and take the sample. Verbalize that you will rotate site to prevent numbness and color change and avoid tissue damage. Avoid using the fingertips, index finger, and thumb. Place the strip into the glucometer and wait until the machine completes pre-checks and prompts you to apply a blood sample. Now you can apply the blood to the strip and ensure that the strip window is fully covered with the blood. Apply a piece of gauze and ask them to hold it for a few moments to prevent bleeding. Post-procedural phase. In this phase, the candidate is responsible to discard all sharps and other clinical waste appropriately to the defined bins. Follow the waste disposal policy and guidelines at all times and never attempt to recap the needles. You can use a scooping method to recap the needles if needed. Lancets go straight into the sharp bin. Clean hands with hand rub or soap and water. You will end the station after recording and reporting. Recording the result in the given documentation clearly and legibly. And the candidate is expected to verbalize the result, mentioning whether they are within normal limits. It is expected to escalate the required action if not within the normal limit. For example, my patient's blood sugar value is 10.7 millimoles per liter and is higher than the normal clinical range. I will look into the prescription and whether the patient has a standing order for insulin. I will inform the doctor immediately and seek his order to maintain the patient's blood sugar. In the case of hypoglycemia, appropriate action is to be taken. Practice OSCE with nurse facts. Follow us for more videos and materials.